Good evening, and welcome once again to the stream, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. It's been a long, long time since I've set foot on Hyrule, so it's probably going to take me a little bit to remember what the hell I was doing in the first place. Ah oh, yes, now I remember. I was burning to death, and um, I had to rush to buy armor because I went to Gorn City. Or town, or village, or whatever the hell the place is called. So, um, now that I am not in fear of imminent immolation, it's probably a good idea for me to just go exploring around the place, shall we? Talk to a few people. Were there any quests I picked up here recently? Well, there, there's a bunch of shrine quests and things I still need to do, and side quests. But, um, I don't know. Yeah, the, the weird tie-in quest with Xenoblade Chronicles that I never did. Now, let's, let's have a poke around and talk to some folks first. Some Gorn folks, some Rocky folks. Although apparently my cat think, seems to think it's playtime now. I mean, if she wanted to pick up a controller, she can go right ahead, but she doesn't have opposable thumbs, so I can't help her. Um... Oh my god, are those pots? Yes! Excellent. My thirst for pottery destruction has been filled, has been slaked. Oh, that's a seat. Okay, cool. That's the first time I think I've seen a Goron roll since I came up here. Hmm. That's a point of interest. Mark that for later. I don't know if I want to go over there right now. Although I, I kind of... Yeah, I'll head over there after I have a chat with uh, some of the locals. That's the old man. Old man! Hey, who are you? You look beefy. Mm. Mm. What are you staring at? Sorry! If you don't need anything, get out of here. What now? You're distracting me. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Not a very personable fellow now, is he? Some kind of Goren board game? I'd ask him to teach me the rules, but uh, I'm, I'm afraid of him. Hey there! Fugal. This is the house of the distinguished Gorn artisan, Master Rohan. You need something? Master Rohan is a godly blacksmith. He's responsible for keeping the ancient arts alive. He's really strict with everyone, me included. In my case, he told me to beat every Igneo Talus around Gorn City as my as part of my training. But I can't get to the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake. Uh. If only someone would go in my place, because that's how trials work, right? I get somebody else to do them for me, and I pay them money. So where is that, exactly? Oh, Darunia Lake is all the way over there. This whole swath of the Olden Mountains that I have not managed to get to. I, I went around the back of the Olden Mountains, found a bunch of really intense Gorns up there. 
Well, most Gorons seem to be pretty intense. Get back here, you bastard! Ah, Fireproof Lizard. This rare lizard can only be found in the Elden region. Its scales have heat-resistant properties, so when cooked with monster parts, it produces a heat-resistant... heat-resistance... elixir. I was gonna play a little bit of this off-camera to get some more money and, like, maybe find a couple of shrines and buy the rest of this armor set, but I did not have the time. <laughs> Look at the tiny Gorn! Look at him go! Come back. I want to talk to you. Ignore your parents' advice. Talk to strangers. <laughs> hey, fella! Buy something! What now? Uh... A hillion like you needs this, right? It's a fireproof elixir. Probably do. Here's what I'll do, fella. Just for you, I'll sell you that fireproof elixir at a special price of only 60 rupees. Nah. Don't come crying to me when you're on fire, fella. Not no more, I'm not. Oh boy, I have a green rupee. Protein Palace? I must- I must steal your food now. Oh, I ha I can buy them. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I could just practice some outright thievery, but no. Yo! Yo! Welcome to Protein Palace! The hot spot for On The Rocks Grilling! How's it going? You need something? What is this place? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, take a look around. This is a grilling joint. Normally, Gorns only eat rocks. Mmm, good stuff. Still, we sell this kind of thing for the tourists. They love it. When they're not on fire. Come on, eat up, and get yourself a meaty muscle body like us Gorns, but I'm pretty sure you're made of rock. Need anything else? I'm good, thanks. Come back any old time. Rock salt, fill arrows, ice arrows, those would be useful. Especially if I go up against that talus, but I think I probably have enough for the moment. Didn't I run into somebody who wanted Gorn Spice? No, I thought I did. Okay, I have to find a Gorn for uh, this guy, too. Alien homeowner. Oh, I don't have all the upgrades for that bot yet. Ah, the guy from the Rito stable wants Gorn Spice. Okay, I'll buy some, I guess. Also, I don't suppose I'll be lucky enough that this will lead me directly to the uh, Gorn in question. Well, the no, no, it just chose me Terrytown, that's all. Alright, let's just do that one. Buy a thing of Gorn Spice for that guy. Ah. Thanks for your patronage, brother! Brother! You. How's it going? This is the general store. Everyone here calls it the Gorn Gusto Shop. Let me know if you need anything. Our motto is, from the kitchen to the battlefield, we've got the right tool for you to wield. So if I wanted to go kill a Bokoblin with a whisk, you, you got me covered, right? Slergo. What's with you? Hmm. Wait, what? You again? What's your problem? I'm a traveler. Hmm. Link, you're the one who approached me. Why would you just walk up and say goodbye? <laughs> hey, I like your style. In fact, I'm gonna do you a favor and accept you as my stu- what? It's settled. I'm the professor, got it? And I expect my students to let me know if they have any questions. 
who are you? Uh, who are you? Slergo. Anything else? Who am I? No, where am I? Gorn City. Anything else? The Smithy's place. I'm just so happy to have a pupil who's so curious. Ask me anything you want, whatever you want. Okay. I thought what was going to happen there is Link decides to just mess with this kid and just keep saying I'm a traveler to him, and that's it. I did not mean to take out my bow. Okay, that's the armor guy. Hi, who are you? Yeah. Yo, traveler! In that case, I'll take you somewhere nice. Follow me. Oh god, I'm gonna get mugged. People always told me never to never to let my guard down in Gorn City. Mm. This is it, the armor shop. Recently, something called the Divine Beast of Arudania showed up on Death Mountain. Since then, it's gotten a lot hotter here. That's why we're selling fireproof armor. Oh, so it wasn't always the this insane up here? Good to know. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, is that a thing I can steal? Gordon made two-handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge, so it relies on a sheer weight to crush its all opponents. I do not have enough room. Wait, are these things their beds? Do they sleep on a bit of coals? That'd be interesting. There's the old man. Old man! No, I've already been in this place. Does anybody know of any Gorns who'd like to move? And now that's just that guy and... I hear Gorn making a weird noise, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there you are. Dude, you look angry. Where did he go? My reckless brother hasn't come back yet! What in the world is he thinking? My little brother, uh, Gungurin. I'm really proud of him, but he said he was going to go dig up a, the secret of the hero, and then he just took off. I really don't know when the world got into him. Hmm. I'm certain my little brother went off to Gorko Tunnel, southwest of Gorko Lake. Bedrock in that tunnel is incredibly hard, so us Gorns gave up trying to dig it out ages ago. Instead of chasing dreams, I'd prefer to see him face reality and help us out with the important Gorn, our important Gorn work. <laughs> Secret of the Hero is a fairy tale of sorts, passed down from Gorn to Gorn for ages. As for me, I heard about it from my dad's cousin's neighbor uncle, neighbor's uncle. <laughs> but I know better. It's just an excuse for him to slack off and dream his life away. I really wish he'd grow up a little. <laughs> Gorko Tunnel is a band spot southwest of Gorko Lake. Bedrock's insanely hard in that area, so we gave up digging there ages ago. Okay.
Yeah, I've been in that house too. Um, let's see. Do do do. Tell you what. Let's uh, figure out where Gorko Lake is. There's Goro Cave. Gorko Lake is over there. Yeah, let's head over there across Darunia Lake and um, see if I can help this guy with his respect problem. Sounds like the town music is getting drunk or something. So wait, let's use this uh, thermal here. That didn't really bring me anywhere. Oh, dude! It's giant Gorn statues. Nice. I've already talked to you, yes? Yeah, I did. You're the dude guarding the place and such. Oh yeah, this guy. Oh, I'll fix your little red wagon. I might have fixed them a little too hard, though. Ooh, where's that go? Ride the rails. I might pass for the moment, though. Although it is leading me in the direction I want to go. Yeah, screw it. Let's ride the rails. Ride the rails. I kind of wonder what that big shadow was, but okay. It's so bright. Can can I even do this? No, 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 no. I know what I need to do here. Never mind. Um, let's see. Bring out yonder Master Sword, because it won't break. No! Get... Get in! Get, get in! Minecart come back? No, it's not gonna come back. Well, I fucked that up. Anyway, let, let, let's stick with my original plan, I guess. Oh dear. Northward bound, young Hillian. And, and just roast yourself alive, I guess. That's fine. That means the minecarts come back anyway. <laughs> Also, you know what? It occurred to me that I probably didn't even need to get out of the cart to do that. I can probably just get in it, stasis it, get it. Uh, 
this theory to the test, shall we? Master Sword's broke. Kind of. This is gonna suck. This sucked. Okay, what what expendable weaponry do I have? Mm, I don't know. It's all stuff I kind of like. Although the Golden Claymore, I could probably stand to lose. What? <laughs> I don't like you no more, Kurt. I, I I don't. I don't like you. Okay, I'm stubborn enough that I'm going to keep doing this until I get it right. There, let's just try that. Don't hit it too hard. And as for you, Mr. Korok, I'm gonna make a note about you for later. So I don't really feel like risking life and limb to go after you again. Hi, Mr. Divine Beast. Apparently there's a shrine nearby, though. And I can get to the rest of my destination from here easily enough, so... Although the shrine is probably that way. Oh look, there's a Kurt I can use if need be. It's over there, isn't it? It, it? It's in that weird little rock thing over there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on a bit of a further Kurt ride, I guess. Man, that's hard to look at. Oh, <laughs> also, there's a guardian in there. I didn't notice. I'm sure they're fine.
Oh, the the cart just leads right to the shrine. Okay. Ba -na -na -na. What fresh hell awaits me down here, I wonder? What's going on in the background there? Blue flame! Is that what that is? Cool. A thing needs to go there, I guess. How do I get to you, Chest? No, I get to you all that way, I guess. Alright. Oh, I see the deal here. Of course, the problem with that is I need to drop a weapon if I'm going to be doing that. Um, hmm. What do I have that I can spare? The Master Sword. I don't need that. Ah, fuck it. I'll get rid of the Blizzard. Uh, although, no, that might come in real handy in this area, wouldn't it? Oh man, I hate throwing things away. Um, I'll probably give it a little guardian spear. It's not gonna be too hard to find another one of them, I'm sure. Nope, that shields. Um, yeah. Although perhaps before getting. Go skull. A royal bow. My inventory is full. The story of my life. I've already got two royal bows, so. Correction, I have three royal bows. Not really worth it. Okay, so I just basically have to relay the blue flame from place to place, then. Ah! You're not, you're not smarter than me, gentle stream of water. 
You're smarter than me, though, Far. Oh, I see what needs to be done here. And now we wait. Crap. Perfect, perfect. No, 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 no. I don't know if I need the giant spiky ball of doom, but wait, I can use it here. Giant spiky ball of doom. And then that answers the question, if do I run into it, will it kill me? Yes, yes it will. Ooh, giant ancient core, I'm gonna need one of them. Still need to get, I think, one more piece of the um, ancient armor. On the hill, torch. See you in hell, spiky ball. Oh, my God, it didn't actually fall into the uh, lake of lava. You know what? I thought this was the end of the dungeon. I am apparently mistaken. I did a stupid. I don't have any wooden weaponry on me either. And I can't just light it with this because it needs to be blue fire. <laughs> okay, there's only one way out of this. That's not the way out of it. I don't suppose I'm lucky enough there's another torch to spawn down here. I hope so. No, I'm lucky enough that the torch I threw is still here. <laughs> yeah, I really lucked out in that regard, didn't I? Also, I like how I'm in this area that's going to roast me alive, and I'm wearing flame protective, like a flame protective chest piece, but I'm running around with sandals in my bare legs and just a bandana.
Oh, the hold up. What? Wait, no, 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 I see what needs to be done here. Success! Great, and this is going to require perfect timing, isn't it? Well, maybe, but not necessarily, I guess. No. I'll try it one more time this way. If it don't work, then, uh... Oh, nice! Okay, I see what needs to be done here now, too. Um... something useful in you, Chess. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll accept more cash. Bloop. No! Wait. No, I'm good. I'm good. We can do this. Yeah, the perfect thing to give to somebody in a uh, area, a, a shrine that's in an area surrounded by fire. Just give me a wooden sword, things will be great. Yeah, that works. Guardian's 
spear. Ancient battle axe. Sword. Ice arrows, I can certainly use them. What sorcery is this? I thought I probably need to do a spin attack so I can get them all in the one shot. Twer where I a betting man. And I'm I'm not really, but in this case, yeah, maybe. There we go. We just need to be standing in the exact center. And now, this time, for sure, see you in hell, Torch! How many of these do I have now? One more. Okay, let's head on over and see if I can deal with that uh, Ignis Talos. That Ignant Talos. I think it's backwards, but I don't care. See now. The um, the thing the shrine is in is shaped like a giant crab. <laughs> giant stone crab. I got pictures of you guys. Never mind, you're not interesting enough for me then. Aw, oh, look at the little lizard man. He thinks I want to fight him, but I'm not gonna. Take a picture of him, though. So, if I defeat the Divine Beast, am I just going to not burn to death if I stroll into this area? Because that'd be nice. Being able to use whatever armor I want. Um, here's a little thing. Something rather exciting happened today. Exciting to me, anyway. Um, I, I mentioned this on stream sometime before, I think, but, like, there's this guy, um, his name is Daniel Tidwell, and he does 
like metal covers of video game music. And years ago now, it was... I don't know, like maybe three or four years ago now, he had this Kickstarter campaign to fund his next video game cover album. Now, I'm not one to be donating money on Kickstarter very often. What is that? How you doing? Waiting for Link? That's cool. Sneak attack! But yeah, anyway, like I was saying... I'm not usually one to uh, donate money to stuff on Kickstarter, because I know that can... Well, I mean, uh, a lot of high-profile things have... Uh, ...gotten fully funded and completed. Um, hell, I played... <laughs> Bloodstained Curse of the Moon there the other day, and, you know, that's a prime example, because that wasn't even what they were looking to fund on Kickstarter, that was just an extra because they made so much goddamn money. But anyway, back to my point, Daniel Tidwell. I, I, I was, I've liked the guy's music, and I thought that this was, like, a safe thing for me to donate money to, because he'd already put out three albums of this before. But then, years went by, and nothing. Like, we went past the, uh, due date for when he figured he'd have this completed and sent out, and nothing. I will give the man credit, though, because he kept his, uh, backers updated on what was happening, and what it was, to my understanding, and I might be incorrect on this, I think what part of the money was going towards was renovating the guy's studio, like, making a new studio. And, um, that ended up getting into, turning into this whole big deal that he wasn't expecting, so it ended up pushing back the production of the album for a while. But he would, like, uh, tea songs that were going to be on it. He gave us, I think, one of the songs off the album a year or so before it was released, that kind of thing. Um, anyway. The album has finally been released. Like, all the physical doodads I got for donating X amount of money are being sent in the mail, and because I don't live in the States, it's probably going to take a while to get there, get here. But, um, he sent out the digital copy of the album today. I downloaded, I've listened to about half of it so far, and it was, I have to say, it was well worth the wait. There's a lot of good tunes on there. And one of the things that I had to geek out about, I know it's a stupid thing for me to be excited about, but because I gave X amount of money, one of the rewards I got was uh, my name got put into the liner notes. I think there was only about 50 of us that uh, donated enough money for that. And, um, yeah, so, so my name is just there in the liner notes. And it, it's a little thing, but it, it's, it's nice. I, I thought that was kind of neat. Now, apparently, if you donated a lot more money, and there were only, I think, three people who donated enough money for this particular reward, but uh, you were able to um, request a song beyond the album. That would have been cool, too, but I didn't quite feel like giving up that much money. But I'm pretty sure the album... He's released a couple of songs off of the album he's posted on YouTube, I think. All these shortened versions of it on YouTube. One of them was the uh, Cradle theme from Goldeneye, which was fucking amazing. Um, and uh, Gourmet Race from Kirby. And Decisive Battle, the boss theme from Final Fantasy VI. And oh my god, the cover he does of that is brilliant. That's one of my favorite boss themes in any game anyway, so... It was nice to see it there. And it's nice to have the full version of it now. But no, I highly suggest you check out his stuff if you've never heard him before. Oh, hi, Mr. Stone Talisman. Uh, 
Um, I should probably use something other than the Master Sword. There we go. And let's use... This thing. No, he's gonna heal up. Oh, crap. Got too close. Thanks, Mifa. the stuff I get, the more money I can make, too. Okay, now I just need to get back to uh, Goron City. Now I'll take the long way around, because maybe there's some stuff over here worth my attention. Another interesting bit of gaming news, too, I suppose, is that this uh, game I was kind of interested in getting. I should have grabbed that lizard. That's not the name of the game. Uh, that, that, that's not the game I'm talking about. I should have grabbed that lizard. But, um... Vampire, or Vampire, I guess it's called. You know, the one where you're playing in Victorian London as this doctor who's been turned into a vampire and freaky shit is happening. Yeah, that was released the other day. I've heard some bad reviews, some good reviews. I'm still interested in playing it. It's probably going to be a while before I get it, though, because I don't really, um... I, I can't really justify spending scads of money on games all willy-nilly, so... <laughs> Sadly, this means I usually don't get to play things as soon as they come out, but... You know, it can wait. It's not like I don't have enough stuff to work through as it is, I mean, good lord. I've been playing Breath of the Wild now for, I think, a year. I'd have to go back and check when the first time I streamed it was, but I'm pretty sure it was around this time. Maybe even earlier. Last year I got this game. No, I need that one. I've already got pictures of you guys, anyway. I say that, I've already got a bunch of games that I'm trying to work my way through, and then I start... ...streaming a game that's absurdly long and I've played the shit out of in the past. Oblivion. <laughs> but Oblivion is so fun, though. And I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. Well, maybe not literally. I'm I'm I I am not a fighter. That is a fight I would lose, but I'm a very good punching bag though. I'm the youngest of four brothers. I I grew up being the punching bag. Climb to the uh, tippy top of the really tall spire over there so I can get a better look around. I'll do a couple more things around uh, Gorn City here. 
But um, there's a couple other things I've got in mind I'd like to do. A little bit of exploring thing. I'd like to see if I can find all of Link's memories. I've got a pretty good idea where the last two are. Oh, he seemed really pissed off he couldn't climb... Climb that slope for a minute. I thought it was snow. Which, dude. Why would there be snow if I burst into flame if I take this armor off? see anything from up here. Oh well. Ooh, what's the deal with this bridge though? I can go on another minecart ride. I'm not sure where this one will lead me. Oh, I might just connect up with the other one. Still Lockbridge. That's a mineral deposit. Oh, it's just one of those guys. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that noise? Yeah, you guys are cool. I'll leave you alone. I've seen this place, right? Oh yeah, this is the uh, spot where no one's home, yes. Now, there's got to be a couple of Gorns around here, or at least one Gorn that's got the last name, well, it, it, whose name ends in Sun, because I need to find a Gorn for Terrytown, and they've got their weird hiring requirement. Need something? I've been training hard so they can carry on Master Rohan's work one day. It sure would be nice if someone heroic showed up to beat the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake, if only. Master fought the Igneo Talus when he was young, and he got stronger that way. Some say he fought every Igneo Talus that exists in the world and beat them all. Hmm. I hope I'm that amazing one day. But for now, I'm just going to have a puny little Hillian beat it for me. What? You say you beat the Igneo Talus at Darunia Lake? I love the Gorn faces. They're so expressive and amazing. Hmm. I have an idea. How about you sell me that achievement for a cool hundred rupees? Sell me that Chivo. Yes! The deal is done! Here you go, brother. <laughs> Thanks! Thanks so much! Can't wait to tell Master about the Igneo Talus. Not if I tell him first! Or, you know, not.
Okay, yeah, let's head over and see what that, um, rock wall is. Hey, who are you? Have I talked to you yet? Crane. Well, looky here. Welcome, Master Link. How did you know? What do you mean? More importantly, I hope you made it past all those magna, magma bombs without manga bombs. <laughs> what kind of manga are we talking about here? Are we talking... I'm not going to start naming names because... People will probably say I'm a noob, I suppose, if I name more common ones. Ah, fuck it, I'll do it anyway. What kind of ma uh, manga bombs are we talking about? Are we talking Berserk? Full Mother Alchemist? Maybe a little bit of Gundam? Without injury? <laughs> to be honest, we haven't had too many visitors here since those magma bombs started falling from the sky. I'd be bored to tears if I didn't pass the time pretending to greet the long-lost Hillian champion. <laughs> Oh, in case you didn't know, Link is the little Hillian who fought alongside the Goron champion, Daruk. So he's just calling everyone who comes by Link. If you want to hear more, talk to the boss. He lives further in town. Oh yeah, because, you know, this was the correct way to get into Goron City. I just didn't, you know, go the right way, that's all. I almost went along the path, I just didn't go along the path. That Gordon statue is amazing. The Gorons are my kind of people. We are currently training at Gut Check Rock, north of Death Mountain. Yeah, I've already been up there. Oh hey, Pekango! I've been all over the world, but this place is truly the hottest of them all. I'd die here without a fireproof elixir. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll be able to draw anything here, so I'll just burn the scenery into my memory. Okay, yeah, I think I I asked him about this one last time. I think I've got a general idea where I can find it. Woodland stable, high ground north of Woodland stable. That's Woodland stable, and this is the high ground here. Oh, if only you could paint the epic Gorn statues. Okay, there are no Gorns here. They're all tra training at uh, Gut Check Rock. Because it's Gut Check time! Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the spots I'm going to check out after I'm done roving around here. Oh yeah, I marked a spot on the map over here too, because there's a small Goron child. 
hanging out by um, the hot springs. I don't know what his deal is. Because he's asleep, and I can't talk to him, apparently. Oh, there's another Gorn here, too. Death Mountain Marker number 7. The world renowned refreshing Gorn Hot Springs. Grap! Man, you're an awful sickly looking Gorn. <laughs> Who's there? Who's disturbing my path? Hmm. Alien tourist, eh? How's the water that I'm standing in? Ugh, lukewarm. I like to relax in some really hot water. A lot hotter than this nonsense. But an alien like you should stay away from any place hotter than here. That goes double for the area past the Bridge of El Elden. It's scorching there. <sighs> Never go near Rudania. Get too close and you'll be a pile of ashes before you know what hit you. <sighs> in any case, getting across the Bridge of Elden is impossible right now. The boss probably raised the bridge to keep Rudania from coming over here. Hello. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Bouquet, did you get that? <laughs> I hear the treasure between here and the Bridge of Elden. It's an amazing stick. Feel the move. It provides me. It lowers. He hid a really cool stick. That must be the Bridge of Elden there. I can get rid of that marker because I know what that is. Death Mountain climbing route, route uh, Bridge of Elden up ahead. Also, apparently a shrine. Yeah, you know what? Uh-uh. The mighty Lionel Sword is not that mighty at the moment. Most of the other weapons I have are better than this. Oh, no you don't. You bat bastard. There's a shrine behind that rock wall, isn't there? So shouldn't I be on the lookout for this kid's treasure? Nah, I'm sure it's fine. Oh, there's the shrine. Some awful pleasant music playing. Why is that? Well, maybe I should go up and check out by the bridge. Maybe there's some more Gorn hanging out up that way.
stalled flight. No, apparently it is working. It just cut out on me a couple of times. Oh, well. Just carry on as if we were normal. Um, right, so the next thing I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, there's a shrine down there. Yeah, yeah I won't bother with that right now. Um, so there's a high place to the north of the Woodland Stable. According to Mr. Pakongo, that should lead me to one of my last remaining lost memories. And then Link will no longer be like a man trying to piece together the previous night's events after going on a bender. A bender that puts you in a coma for a century. You laugh, but it can happen. Actually, you know what? The Woodland Tower is probably the best place to go for that. Say, so hopefully when things frigged up on me, I didn't lose too much of the stream, but it's also recording this video, so as long as OBS didn't crap out on me, and I don't, it doesn't look like it did, I should be fine. Alright, let's switch out of this and put on all my climbing gear. What I gotta do is I gotta look for sort of a wet spot type place. Ooh, like that actually. I just gotta get over there, I think. Because I think this might be the area. Well, sort of. I don't remember seeing the tower in that um, image. But whatever, let's get to high ground, and then I'll, uh, judge from there. Yeah, I know you're over there, wolf. I also don't care. Well, he hears you. Well, he don't care. Okay, Link, it's time for you to um, figure out where the hell you are. And... I don't see the tower in this image, but I don't think the tower would be. Well... There should be a mountain ridge that goes straight across. Yeah, that's actually it. That's what I'm looking at. So, the memory... 
the memory should be up here somewhere. Seems like an odd place it would be, though. Unless... It's behind me. It's probably up there. Somewhere. He ran up the side of that cliff a long time. Longer than I expected. Okay, let's check that again. Seems like roughly the right area, I just need to... Just need to find the exact right spot. This is too low. I can't see the castle from here. Might be up there. I'll look at it this way, Link. You might not get your memory back, but at least you'll get your exercise in. This isn't really it either. Oh no, 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 you don't want to slide down the fucking hill. Maybe up here, this looks like a bit of a flatter spot. The question then is, is it too high? Well, maybe not. No, it's too high. Oh look, bad things are going to happen. Now I'll use my sword that banishes the evil to mine. Okay, I've got no idea what I'm looking at now. The red hillish tint. You gotta wonder, I'm assuming Zelda is getting sick about telling me- getting sick of telling me about the Blood Moon. This is like, he- he should- he should have solved these problems already. Why is it taking him so long? <laughs> Okay, I'm too high up and I'm too far to the right. I think. Maybe that's it there. 
Although that might be too far to the left. All of this landscape just looks the same to me. You fellows don't see me. I am not here. Oh, there's the memory. Just need to fight off these guys to get him. Also, there's a Korok up here, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Pick up the Moblin arm, put it in the place, freak the hell out of the Korok. Yeah, ha ha! Banana, na 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 na! Remember. So wait, the tower wasn't there, but that Bokoblin- the very temporary looking Bokoblin camp was there? Too bad, actually. You're fine for now. But you know, there's a fine line between courage and recklessness. As brave as you are, that does not make you immortal. Holy shit! <laughs> it seems that not only is the frequency of these types of attacks on the rise, but the scale of beasts we are facing is intensifying as well. I fear that. I fear that this is an omen which portends the return of Calamity Ganon. And, if that's the case, I'm ready to expect the worst. We'll need to make preparations as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely watching all of these out of order because the last memory I think I found is like, Oh shit, he's attacking! And the Korok is just standing back there, wondering what's going on. Mifa's grace is ready. Okay, there's only one memory left. I pretty much know where it is. Meaning I am going to have to go back into the castle. Before I do that, however, um... Let's head back to place. Katano Village. There's a couple of things I need to do in the castle. Anyway, I gotta look for a recipe, which I had already found. I just didn't realize I had to write it down and then cook it. And then give it to the people, the person that's looking for it. And now I think going into the castle is not going to be as tall of an order as it was the first time I did, you know. The very first time I played the game and can't, stepped off the plateau. Like all the way back in part two of this stream. I managed to make it pretty far. I managed to make it into the library. Although, haven't I fully upgraded the house? Yep. 
Okay, what shield can I drop? I mean, I could drop the fisherman's sh shield. The only reason I have it really is, um... No, I don't want to pick it up again. Yeah, the only reason I have the Fisherman's Shield, really, is because, um, it looks neat. What bow was that? Oh, a duplex bow. Alright. The place is still looking pretty sparse. I can still buy stuff for this place, right? I thought I could. Yeah, let's go have a chat with Mr. Bolson, and, um... Oh, he lives in here, apparently. You know what the hell with Mr. Bolson? <laughs> I'll check back later with him about that kind of thing. Um, let's just head right to the castle, then. This right here is the closest... Like I said, this is probably going to be nowhere near as difficult as it was at the beginning. Say the hardest part is probably going to be those flying guardians, but I probably get my way around them. The guardians are nowhere near as much of a problem as they used to be. Lionels now. Lionels are still a problem. I don't think there's any of them hanging out around the castle. Of course, if I was playing this in master mode, apparently there's a lionel hanging out on the plateau when you start. <laughs> Okay, so what we got? Dining hall, guards chamber, and on the second floor. So those pieces of armor are in the in the castle itself. Okay, apparently I have to find the Royal Guard's gear, which is in there somewhere. And the Royal Recipe. For the beautiful man at the stables. Yeah, there were a couple of recipes I saw in there, so I'll have to keep an eye out for them. I wonder, is there, uh... No, it, it just leads me back to him. What about the other one? No, that also just leads me back to this. So I'm on my own. I just have to search and hope I find it.
I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get into the castle through the basement. Oh, well, although I'm going to want to figure out where that memory is, aren't I? It looks like it's within the castle itself, somewhere on the walls. Like, here or somewhere. So I'm going to have to do a thorough search of the walls when I get there. Although... No, that's not it. It, it. It's it's in the castle. I see you, you guardian bastard. I got something for you. I thought I did. There we go. That's better. And I'm gonna burn! Crap! <laughs> I thought this was going to be easier. I was wrong. I have any food on me anymore? I don't even know if I do. Nope, I use it all. Alright. Well, this is gonna be even more fun. thing is I have to try to avoid the uh, guardians in the air. Leaves the geese alone? Why not me? the way into the basement. It's actually below me, I think. The reason why I did this, well, the reason why I left that shield behind is because there's a way into the basement and I know there is a very specific shield I'm going to want in the basement. I love the music in this place. It's very Ganon. Well, actually, there's a cook pot here. I should probably make use of it. There it is.
As before, let's just cheap out and make a bunch of hearty radish things. Too bad you can't really cook stuff in batches, that'd be nice. I'll cook one more after this, that'd be enough. I'm probably not going to need to do as much climbing in here, so... Damn, if I'm going for def defense, I'm going to like put on a uh, bizarre mishmash of clothing. Now let's put on that these, and, um, the helmet. Close enough. Oh, hey, chest. Diamond? Why are there ice taluses down here? I don't think they were here before. Uh-huh. Oh crap. No. No. Rivali Gale is now ready. Thanks, man. That's a waste of that sword, but, you know. There's another beat in the background that I don't remember hearing before. I'll place fond eggs. I don't know, maybe that's just there because I've defeated so many of the Divine Beasts. Because I think you can... As long as you can reach the area where you initiate the final fight, I think you can fight Ganon whenever the hell you want. It's just... Doing the rest of the main quests makes them easier to beat. Pretty sure. Ah, Miasma. Where the hell am I? I'm right there. Yep, I'm in the dungeon. Yeah, that leads me back up into the main part of the castle, but I don't want to go there yet. I got business I need to take care of down here first. Down here in the walk-up. At least I thought I did. Yeah, maybe I can't access this section of the uh, lockup yet. Or at least not from this area. I can't remember how I got in there before.
yeah, I probably need to go in the other direction and then get up there from, uh, get in there from the other side somehow. Or something. Is it? It's just the way I came. Alright, let's go back, um, this direction. Hello, sir. Aha! Well played, but not played well enough. What did you just drop? That's, that's a new one on me. Royal Guard Spear. The Sheikah made spear was created using ancient technology to combat the cal calamity. Its attack power is very high, but a critical design flaw left it with poor durability. You know, the same as practically every Sheikah thing in existence, apparently. Wait, was I mistaken in my understanding that I can get into the dungeon from down here? <laughs> yeah, apparently I was. Oh well. Here I thought I wasn't going to have to do much climbing. Boy, was I wrong. Kidding me? Yeah. Hi, you found me in my hiding place, this hellhole. Congratulations, here's a seed. Nope. You know, I'm not even 100% sure where I am right now. I don't think I've been to this spot before. That looks like a switch. Oh, okay. Alright, makes sense. Okay, I'll figure out how to get to the dungeon later. Right now, I'm gonna go looking for that memory. I was in there before. I just apparently forgot how to do it. Right now, I need to get to the outer walls.
Which, if I'm doing that, this is the way to go. Alright, photo album. Show me where. It's a wall that's looking at a tower which is facing a cliff with a gazebo on it. Very specific. It's probably looking a little bit worse for the wear at this point, but you know. Is that it? Also, there's like a... No, that's the bridge. There's like a dock or something. Also, it occurred to me, yeah, I can see another way I can get in with the Zora armor. Which I didn't have, obviously, the first time I came here. Break out something a bit more guardian specific. Also, I don't think I have a picture of this thing. Say cheese. Say die! That sucks. I'm going to break nearly everything trying to get through this place. Even with, even with the right weaponry for the job, these things take forever to kill. Yeah, I remember seeing that statue. Something similar to it. Ain't this a big old fancy building? No! <laughs> I'm not ready for you. 
I'm not ready for you, but I have to fight you anyway. Ah, these things aren't helping. There, is that problem solved? Kind of. I wasn't expecting to deal with a Lionel at this point. What have I got? Yeah, explosive arrows, perfect. I thought you were supposed to be stunned. Not in the corner. Not in the corner. You don't need your bow. I'm right next to you. in the face. Ha! Ah, who's the man now? Me, sort of. Oh, he dropped a treasure chest. Well, I mean... I guess I used a bunch against him, it's only fair. Um, let's see... I think my best bet might actually be to get to the top of this and see if I can find something close to what I'm looking for. Might not even be on the side of the castle.
That's a bad idea. still need to find the thing. Where the hell is the thing? <laughs> okay, let's just uh, let's just look for likely candidates. Well, I can't really pick out anything here on the map, to be honest. The way the map is designed. It might be actually up closer to the top, to the main body of the castle. It's worth a look. If that's the case, switching out to the Zora armor might be a good idea. See if I can get the high ground that way. Shit. No! I'm still on fire. food. I require sustenance. Let's look at that picture again, because I don't think it's actually this high up. Yeah, we're looking at a cliff of some kind. Might be around back of the main castle, to be honest, or... Oh, it might be over that way. I was a fool to think this was going to be easy.
Pump those crazy legs, Link. Although that looks like it might be part of the castle. Ah, oh, goddammit. I, I keep second-guessing myself about where it is. Fuck it, let's go to the top. What's the worst that can happen? Besides everything. Still on far. I gotta be careful here. I don't want to accidentally shunt myself into the final battle. I don't want to do that yet. Go away. I don't want you. Or you. If I was able to take my time and investigate the place a bit more thoroughly, I don't think I'd have this much trouble, but, um... I find it scary. Although I think I'm onto something. I see what that, uh, crenellation type thing is. Enough crenellation's the proper term, but... So it's around the edge of the castle. Somewhere. I just need to find the right spot. If I do a circuit around the castle, I should be able to find it. And not fall off. Oh god, don't fall off. I might be onto something. It might be one of these.
Oh yeah, yeah, it's exactly one of these. Might be this one. That's it! I found it! Good lord, get it! For the love of Jesus, get it and leave. Oh yeah, sure, sure, the Guardians won't care. They'll stand by and let you relive your past. You're not going to take a laser to the face anytime soon, I'm sure. <gasps> laser to the mouth. Hey look, a guardian. And Zelda in her fancy dress. Incredible. We're at a point now where we can actually control them. At the current rate, we'll soon know all we need to know about the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. And should Ganon never show itself again, it's we'll be well positioned to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? Oh, hey, it's the king. I... I was assessing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against them. I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the Goddess- And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. Don't you see? There's nothing more I can do. My hope, my hope is that you... That you allow me to contribute here, in whatever way I can- No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the King, I forbid you to have anything to do with these machines from this moment on. And command you to focus on your training. Do you know how the gossip mongers refer to you? They are out there at this moment, whispering amongst themselves. That you are the heir to a throne of nothing. Nothing but failure. Damn! <laughs> it is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Apparently King Rome was some kind of asshole. I did not get that from talking to his ghost. I did it. Yeah, still take your time. Nothing dangerous is happening. Run! Oh, it's Princess Zelda's uh, study. I like how one of the silent princess flowers was growing here. Read Zelda's research journal? Sure. Today I met with Impa of the Sheikah tribe and began my research into the ancient technology in earnest. Impa introduced me to Pura and Robbie, other respected members of her tribe. Tomorrow I will embark on an excavation with them. We hope to find ancient tech with which to operate the Guidance Stones. Today we uncovered some ancient technology that we believe may have the power to control the Guidance Stone. It is a rectangular object small enough to be held in my two hands. Sheikah text has featured prominently on it. It is made of an unknown material, but we believe it is the same as the shrines scattered across each region. Impa proposed that I hold on to it for now, 
I hope that it leads to some new developments in our research. The stone relic we discovered has been named. We are calling it the Sheikah Slate. We have not found any mention of a name for this object in the records we have unearthed so far. Nevertheless, Pura insisted we call it the Sheikah Slate, as the relic is a slate made by the Sheikah tribe. Feels a bit on the nose to me, but it was not a fight I thought I could win. After meeting Pura, no, you probably couldn't. We did it! We were finally able to restore some functionality to the Sheikah Slate. We have discovered that this stone slate is capable of producing... images. Perfect likenesses of the things you pointed at. Unlike normal pictures drawn by hand, this requires no artist to capture anything in perfect detail. I deeply admire the accomplishments of the Sheikah technology. Still, I know there is more to learn. There must be. We believe the Sheikah Slate may have a function that will allow it to control the Guidance Stone. We must continue our research, and quickly. We have started training the champions who will pilot the Divine Beasts. It may sound rude that I found this unexpected, but Mifa mastered the controls with surprising ease. Daruk struggled at first, but eventually got the hang of it. Robosa and Ravali both managed just fine as well. I can finally see the light of hope in our fight against the Rising Calamity. Robbie has restored mobility to many of the Guardians we've excavated. But we have still yet to find all, the, all of the Guardians. Records mention a greater number of them, and even other types. They are said to be stored in five giant columns that rest beneath Hyrule Castle. Thing is, no matter how I search beneath the castle, I can't seem to locate these columns. They must be buried deep. Were they perhaps designed to sense the appearance of Calamity Ganon, and only activate upon his return? Countless ancient structures are being discovered across Hyrule, but all attempts to enter them have failed. Records indicate that these are facilities designed to train the hero who was fated to combat the Calamity. But the crucial activation mechanism remains a mystery. Is the Sheikah Slate the key to activating them? That is Pura's theory, and I concur. And yet, my experiments so far have been fruitless. Still, we must exhaustively investigate all means of opposing the Calamity. We must not give up. No matter what! I spoke with Pura about the Shrine of Resurrection we discovered earlier. As we speculated, this particular shrine is, in fact, a medical facility with the power to heal. It also has a long-term stasis function that can be activated and maintained until healing is complete. In the war against Cala the Calamity 10,000 years ago, were the injuries so great as to necessitate such a facility? If so, I will remain uneasy until we have made all adjustments necessary to restore it to full working order. I can only pray that, even if Calamity Ganon returns, our battle will not require the Shrine of Resurrection's power. Well, I got bad news for you, Zelda. I have bad news for you, past Zelda. That does nothing. I like how the music changes depending on where you are in the castle. Anyway, I think that's going to be enough of this for now. That, that was a lot more harrowing than I expected, just finding that memory. Um, there's a f next time I play this, which probably won't be the next time I stream, but the next time I play this, I'm going to further investigate the castle, try to find a way into the dungeon again. I was in there before, I just can't remember how. And, um... Probably look for the recipe and the... Royal Guard series and the armor that's kicking around in here. Try to clue up all that stuff and then get the frig out and then not come back until I'm ready to fight Ganon. So anyway, like I said, that's it for now. Um, if you happen to stop by to watch, even though it kind of cut in and out a little bit on me, I thank you very much for doing so, as I always do. And hopefully I'll see you fine folks next time. And until then, I wish you a farewell and a good night.